Okay, I'm going to put a wheel spacer on so that it doesn't take too long. I've got everything ready. Um, I've already cracked the nuts loose. Um, so I'll take the wheel off. relatively clean but you don't want it too messy. A bit of corrosion on there. Some alloy wheels. Not a lot. There's zinc coated run. Check the brakes while I'm at it. That's pretty good. Seize here, what I call never seize. It's uh, it's good on exhaust bolts, stop them rusting. Um, put a bit on the back here. It just stops ex more corrosion. These are kind of coated, a bit in there, so you don't want this rusting on. You don't need a lot, it's very good stuff, it's got copper and zinc and stuff in it. Alright, I'll clean it at threads. Quickly, don't mean to take more time doing it. I just don't want to make the clip too long. Now, when this is on, uh, if the nuts are longer than this spacer, if the studs are longer and they stick out, you'll need to cut them with an angle grinder. But in this case, there's no need. Almost forgot. Silly bugger. Maybe overkill. Always carry a knife. If you're thinking of robbing me in the street, I've always got a knife. <laughs> um, some Loctite, not the really strong stuff. medium stuff, it can be removed. Okay. Just for a bit of extra security. Whammo! Make sure you use tapered nuts. If you don't get the nuts with them, tapered nuts are really important. They help with the centralizing. I mean, you can only spin a little bit. It's, it's a hub centric spacer, which means it uses the lip of the hub. When you tighten wheel nuts, Never go one, two, three, four, five, or six, seven. Always go here and as far opposite as you can. This being a five stud, you miss one, you miss one, you miss one. 
and that will give you the most accurate tightening, the most even. I should show you the correct way with a torque wrench actually. I may have one here ready. Make sure you do it right. 80 pounds is about right. over. That was kind of very soft. But maybe I'm stronger than I thought. Alright. Well that's the spacer on. Roll the wheel back in place. Walk it. These things are bloody heavy. There we go. She's not. That's odd. I think there's a little bit of corrosion inside this hub in the center of the wheel. Yeah, they're below the surface. Need to clean the rim a bit.
turned the air compressor off so you guys don't have to listen to it. The pressure's a bit low. And this is the backyard mechanics way of how Still pushing onto the lip, but it feels good. To fit. Always count them so you know you've done them all. Four and five. And that is how we fit. A wheel spacer in record time. <laughs> Carry on. Thank you for watching.